definitely did not pay for that. Alright, what's up guys? It's your boy Zaf. Looks like we got a reset though. Yep. We're back into it. So uh, how's uh, how's Justin playing uh, today? I haven't really watched too many of his sets. Yeah, well he took a set off Sharks. Yeah, and they started on FD last time, and I'm glad they did not go back to FD on the first. Was it a wash? What? Was it a wash? Like, for Tyler? Um, uh, the first game was pretty rough. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh. Obliterated. Jeez. I love it. Ow. Yeah. After, after I'm done, though, I'm probably going to peace. So the big thing uh, that I see Tyler that he does really well is like covering jumps a lot with up airs. I think uh, he doesn't just he, he uh, he's gotten a lot better at just not throwing them out randomly and he throws them out with a lot of intention. Uh, like uh, he yeah. connects like se almost over 75% of his up airs into like hits, which is really impressive. He doesn't just throw them out recklessly because uh, that's not, like a small thing like you can get punished for. But yeah, yeah. he's he's using them a lot as. Uh because GCS played a little bit slower on platforms, and he's using them really well to get him off the platforms and get him back on the ground. Uh, GCS's uh, tech skill is really good right now. He's not really messing up. Ooh, back throw F tilt. Tyler smiles a bit about that. He knows a little bit of a cheesy setup. I think GCS has a really good potential of taking this whole thing. I was saying earlier that I thought it would be hard for GCS to take two sets in a row from Sharks, but how he's playing right now looks really good. So and here's the down throw knee. Nope. Up air to keep safe. Uh, so Tyler's been doing this thing where when he's in the corner, he starts using side B to get out because, um, I don't know, it's like one of those really weird options and it's like... It's kind of like a down B by Luigi. Yeah, it's, it's not that bad. It's not it's not that good, but, you know, it's it's something that Icy's, you know, can utilize. That face from Tyler. Yeah. Uh, GCS's okay. execution is looking really good right now, though. He's not really missing any L cancels. That was a real <laughs> that mix up with the hack stand. Just to get one little refresh. It's crazy to see some of the little things. Ooh, nice. Alright. We'll see how this closes out. Kind of trying to answer and raise him the forward smash. Oh my god, man, is so a, bad. This recovery's been really good, though. I'm not sure why Icy's always opt to grab the ledge uh, like that, because um, I think there's other like ways of at least mixing up how, what you're covering, but uh, I don't know, maybe I just don't know something. Uh, what I've noticed is that when Justin's been playing on the ground, he's been really doing a good job of like kind of keeping Tyler in place and then just doing what he wants and run rampant on his shield. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, DIing in there forces uh, Justin to not be able to knee, but I'm pretty positive he can at least, like, he can get the knee. Maybe it's harder to react to. Dude, he's he's cleaning it up now. Yeah, this is a very clean edge guard, no risk. It's been pretty good, because GCS hasn't gotten hit, like, hasn't gotten hurt too bad by Sopo or anything. He's taking yeah. care of her. I, I think, uh, him. So, Poe's, uh, what's going on? Uh, Tyler's been doing a really, uh, like, kind of meh job at figuring out Justin's movement patterns. Uh, He's doing a really good job to catching him in the air, but that doesn't really lead to like big, big punishes. Uh, he's looking for. Um oh wow, he's. GCS is camping that platform. platform. Yeah. <laughs> he's stomping like West Balls from side to side. <laughs> All right, and boom. And oh, it's me. I, I think he didn't expect Tyler to DIN. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, nice so he has it. All right, there's the first game. GCS might be walking away with the first place finish. This be a big win. Justin's playing really well right now, yeah. He, um, this is, I mean, so if GCS wins this, he's taken two sets off of the PR number four. He's taken, and then he would have taken two sets off of the second PR. Because he beat David twice today. Yeah. yeah. So it's a really big wins already today. Yeah, so I, I really like this pick from Tyler. It's a lot of, uh, J Justin's been jumping a lot, so uh, the fact that, you know, there's no platforms to jump to. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that beats hard. I stuff the wobble. Huh? Yep, the reverse hit. Tyler loves that. He's 
gonna do it again. Again. I'm, I think uh, Tyler was talking about it recently about how he's like trying to like. Yeah, I mean, he already doesn't wobble that much, but okay. Well, as I say that, he gets a wobble, but I think he's, he's wobbled a good bit this set, um, or, or I guess not as much this set. I don't even know if he's he got like one off the start last game, but he actually hasn't. Uh, he, he wobbled a good bit the first set. But yeah, he, he hasn't wobbled that much today. Yeah, uh, I've been talking to Tyler about it. He's just like, yeah, I, I, it's not that he doesn't want to. It's just like he enjoys more opting it into not wobbling. Well, so. I mean, because ICs are good without the wobble, I think. And Tyler's gone, his execution is extremely good with the handoffs and whatnot. Uh, he's also extremely good at just like, you know, having a punish game that isn't just based off grabs. Uh, he's really good at uh, punishing off like back airs and stuff. Yeah, force smash. I mean, he gets a lot of openings for force smashes and links them together. Uh, GCS is using that full hop stomp to like a different aerial falling, like a full hop stomp to falling up air. Yeah. To like hit, like, because if he gets a connection on one, but the Nana's on the ground or Sipo's on the ground, then he'll use the second aerial to hit one of them. Yeah, he's so it's actually very, it's yeah. it's very smart how he's using that. He's trying to catch a jump with the first one, like maybe like a like if he's up yeah. there first, he can catch uh, the up air. But uh, ooh, okay. Oh, that great side is good, grab. but you get to get up wobble. So I'm guessing that this game is a loss and he'll probably go to Dreamland. Taking a sip of water. I know that's one of the hardest things about playing Rose Ices, especially in two sets, is like keeping in it actually. Yeah. Uh, it's e very easy to just be extremely tired from playing uh, just the Rose Ices in general, just because you have to keep your execution on point a lot of the time, just because of how one grab can just be the end of a stock. So Tyler uh, caught his landing there. Oh, he was gonna try to do the chew because chew is one of the few ices that just waits for Nana to come there. Uh, oh really? This is another wobble, actually. Jeez. Oh wow, the edge cancel. Oof. Good air dodge. Uh, I think Justin could have scouted that out with like jumping out with a weak knee. Tyler's got some super clean di right now. Uh, he's he's very knowledgeable of what Justin can and can't get. Ooh, Ooh, wow. Oh. Triple dash attack. Ooh. Oh, awesome. I like that. Uh, ooh, wow. He uses the F tilt to catch his landing. Oh, the hardest thing about Sopo is he, he just kind of seems like a different beast. Because he has some different, like, because he can dash dance and he, can, he has a little bit weirder movement when you go from playing. Because you don't have to worry so, about your net. Yeah, exactly. I've heard Sharks really enjoy playing against Sopo because he gets the dash dance. I actually don't think Sopo is as bad as everyone thinks, but that's because I made Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about uh, the thing about Sopo though is like he's automatically limited so bad because of his recovery. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he can't get back. So, I mean, that that already makes him pretty bad. We'll probably go to Dreamland. Yeah, it's a pretty commanding game from uh, Tyler, but that that's kind of what you expect out of FD, especially when he's been catching Justin's jumps really well. I'm gonna oh, go to this Pokemon. Will, this will be a new pick. I'm not sure how I feel about this with no what top left. What the heck is one. the Dreamland picture of? I think it's like the zoomed out picture of it, and it's like the rainbow. I'm oh, yeah, really it's sure. kind of weird. It looks like a little star. Yeah. It it's like super simple. zoomed out. Why don't they go to Pokemon? Uh, oh, I think Justin wants a top platform. Justin wants a top platform, and like the issue with um, Pokemon is like some, during some transformations, it's just jank where you get grabbed and then you get wobbled. Yeah. Oof. Boom. Oh, you see? Yeah, he's the, the full hop stomp into yeah. there. Because the best he's, part he's is even used that. He's used that sometimes when he just connects with one and one's on the ground. Which yeah, is really cool. It's just like it can combo into itself if they miss the tech, all that kind of stuff. It's but very, if uh, he if he misses that aerial, can he get shield grab? Uh, well, I think he I think he can. Uh, like which one? The down air or the uh, aerial he's landing with? The aerial he's landing with. Uh, I think he can react if he's like they're like shielding below him or something. I don't know. There's definitely a chance of getting shield grab. All right, as long as he has, as long as he has this like, uh, has this space, I think he's good. I mean, really, just the platforms. Yeah. The platforms and a little bit of space, and he's fine. It's a good map. I don't know where they would, like sharks would counter pick to after this. I actually think it'd be either Yoshi's or Pokemon. Oh yeah, he'll go. Oh Yoshi's. come on! Can't right. be having that yeah, happen. That Tyler, Tyler's been messing up wobbles. I guess he's, I don't know, getting a bit nervous or whatnot. But 
he defaults into doing the down throw down air, and then Justin doesn't uh, SDI out of it. Uh, we, I, I really get bothered when people miss the SDI because I feel like it just makes for bad melee in general. It's hard to hit it every time. I yeah, feel like he's it, been doing pretty well though. It definitely okay. is. Okay. But ooh, yeah, just cleans up the I'm like I'm liking these up air knees. Usually can do a lot more uh, quick conversions. GCS is really showing something right here. Ooh, catches the dash oh, back. Oh, down. Jabs him, and he gets a jab grab, but just mashes out. Ledge. Oh, I think he was ready for the roll, yeah. So for the wobble, I'm not a wobbling expert. <laughs> um, never really cared to learn how to wobble. I can't um, wobble. I've tried. But really, the setups are just to get Nana close, right? Uh, yeah, you need to get Nana close and then start uh, the desync where you get uh, Popo to uh, jab. I'm not jab, but a pummel, and then Nana F tilts. Oh, she has to F tilt. Yeah. And oh, I didn't know that. Now you know. Yeah. Yeah, I learned today that I saw uh, Nana doing a down tilt, and I was like, down tilt? You can use down tilt too, but I'm, I think most ICs use F tilt because it's better. Gotcha. Ooh, misses the edge guard. Oh, this could be huge actually, because he's gonna get a. He misses. He could have gotten like a string of back is or something there. Boom. A big. The big thing that Tyler wants is he wants to get him to round 30, so he gets rid of some of the crouch and ASDI down on some stuff, and also just easily can convert to a wobble. Ooh. Try to catch him landing with that, uh, or jumping with the up up smash, but doesn't really convert. Ooh, nice. Ooh. I like the choice of uh, forward smash there instead of just back airing again. Alright, as much as I appreciate melee, I'm kind of ready for the set to be done. Oh no, I think a lot of us are. <laughs> uh, it's, been, it's been kind of a long day, and uh, you know, it's, it's, ready, even for us, it's kind of grueling. I'm driving GCS. Yeah. Ooh, so whoever wins this? Just oh this no. Man, jab grab's so hard sometimes, man. It's just so good. Like, because, I mean, you have to react to, like, it with, with crouch canceling, but even then, I don't know, it's rough. Uh, I can't blame people for, like, getting jab grabbed because I'm not even close to capable of consistently dodging it. All right. I think Tyler also told me that uh, if you're, like, perfect on the wobble, uh, you can do it from zero, and they even if they perfectly mash, like, they can't get out. I think he said like Wobbles did it once or something like that in tournament, and he was like pointing it out. Go back to it. Yeah. I, I mean, I like this pick. He was doing really well, and then he got um, he kind of got messed up in the air a bit, but then he also just got like destroyed that last stock by uh, much more. There's jab your jab grab. grab again. Oh man. I think this is what it all turns out to yeah, I think when you lose a when you lose a set like that where you or that game where you're so dominant the whole time. Yeah. This is just, I, you could literally, so if you're watching this on YouTube, go back about 30 seconds and it'll look the same exact way. Pretty much, yeah. Ooh, reverse speed, okay. I feel like now we're gonna see GCS get a little antsy. Uh, the main thing that I, I'm watching out for is how is he gonna oh continue to goodness. play the ground game? Because he's kind of, yeah, now he's starting to get bodied on the ground game. And down here, oh. And he got it. He got the DI behind instead of just like the smash DI, but. That was just a whole good sequence, starting with the up air to down air. Kept him. Honestly, Boom. Tyler is so good sometimes when he's about to win uh, like a set on Dreamland. I don't know, he's really good at Dreamland. I don't know what it is, but uh, maybe it's the space. Because he blends in with the background. That's true. Oh, jeez. Both grab the edge of the sides again at the same time. Oh, yeah, he's due for his blizzard grab. Just get all the wobble setups. Wow, that's really cool that you can side me after that, too. Ooh, down smash actually hit there. Ooh, Justin misses the, the, the clean dash he put and he was trying to get back there at me. So Justin can definitely still bring this back. I think the main thing is he needs to start getting this uh, earlier separation because he only killed Sopo there like, and so uh, Nana was still alive. He really needs to focus on uh, getting yeah, like a clean knee into like breaking them up or something. Yeah, he hasn't been able to really set them up. Okay, yeah. Oh, the he got the, yeah, he got the he shield got the damage. Bait. Yeah, he got the shield damage and then he baited the shield grab and then he got some separation. Unfortunately, he doesn't convert, but uh, you know, at least it's something. 
It's yeah, better than... 26% uh, off Topo, but that was a lot of percent on Nader. Yeah. Not a big fan of that second place there, because Justin's still going to hit the, hit it with that knee if he was like a little bit slower, but... Uh, you see that's really... Oh, no. Oh, no. Sharken. Oh, no. Okay. Nana not being very compliant. Up there. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. He should be keep on coming back. He should die. Boom. All right. So, like two I said, extremely stars. durable. Uh, Icy's, you know, the trade-off with them, like being able to kill with a wobble. Oh, I like that. He does. Does the side B actually? It side B pulled him back. Yeah, a little pulls bit. him back like very early on, so that uh, it's harder to shield grab. Or I don't think you can shield grab it. Raptor Boost is uh, pretty good for Sarcees, because Nana does not know how to play melee. Ooh. Catches him coming in with the F Smash. Uh, I think that's like really the first time he's uh, done that. Oh, yeah, smash. All right, and it's one wobble away. One wobble or one clean melee stock away. Is this it? And there oh, it is. the down throw down there. That's a GG. Shark shaking his head because he knows that it's got to be done. But NC, uh, NC needs to work on his SDI. We all need to. Sharks can't be farming us like this. All right, but and respect to him. Tyler played, uh, from what I watched, uh, pretty decently, especially in the last two games. Yep. So, and good stuff. Your winner of ECG today is Sharks. Huh? Yeah, it was a bracket. So, yeah. All right, guys. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, probably Sharks will come over here and say a little word. Um, but thanks for joining in with ECG. Yeah, and we'll probably be uh, on Thursday melee as well. Yeah, point. Thursday Melee. I'm not sure if Tyler's uh, going, but I think he is. Yeah, so and now they're, they're probably talking about, just talking about something. I bet you they're talking about the SDI. All right, well, I'm signing off. So thanks for tuning yep. in, guys, and thanks for uh, watching, and I hope you enjoy the stream. Bye. Yep. Peace. All right, I'll tell Colin to update the bracket. Don't worry about it. <laughs>